Can I begin by thanking uh, Professor Howard for the enormous amount of work he has put into uh, his report uh, and also all those who have given evidence and made contributions uh, to that report, uh, whether they be uh, medical practitioners, law enforcement officials, lawyers, community workers, uh, all, the, all those who suffer the tragedy of lived experience with illicit drugs. Uh, it is a landmark report and today we deliver a landmark response. Uh, we know that we have an enormous illicit drug problem in Australia. We're reputed to have the highest rate of amphetamine consumption per capita in the world. So across a whole range of illicit drugs, we have a big problem. But this is a big answer today to that big problem. Uh, it's an enormous package, a $500 million package, and of that $140 million or more will be devoted to justice outcomes. This is not about going soft on crime, but being smart on crime. Uh, we recognise as a government the continued role that the criminal justice system has to play and law enforcement has to play in this to, to disrupt supply. Uh, but we also recognise uh, that at the end of the day we have to treat with health interventions those with addictions. So the announcements today include expanding the merit program, a court diversion program uh, that has been successful. Uh, it's been shown uh, statistically to reduce reoffending. We'll be increasing the number of participants in that program by around 75% after the final rollout in four years. That will increase its availability from 62 courts to 91 courts. We're also expanding the drug court. We've previously announced the uh, introduction of a drug court in Dubbo. Today we announced that we are expanding the Sydney drug court from one day a week to five days a week. And in addition, we've already announced uh, initiatives in the Indigenous justice space, uh, circle sentencing, expanding that from around 12 courts to 20 courts. Again, that's been proven to reduce reoffending, just like the drug court has. Uh, more investment in justice reinvestment and a new youth curry court in Dubbo. Uh, and today we announced that we are supporting, in principle, a, a pre-court diversion scheme with, with a number of important caveats. First, that, that we are not decriminalising illicit drug use. We are not normalising illicit drug use. We know the devastation that illicit drug use has on users and families and friends and all those around them. So we are sending a very clear message, do not use drugs, and there is still a criminal justice system that will deal with that. But we also have to uh, recognise that uh, what's important is getting people away from their addictions, away from their drug use and having health interventions. And that's why we're supporting in principle a pre-court diversion program that will point point addicts and uh, those who are users but not acts in the right direction towards health intervention. So what's important is that the community they'll have confidence that there are the resources in place to deal with that diversion. It's all very well saying let's divert someone to a drug and alcohol program but you've got to have those programs and supports in place. And that's why uh, we'll be relying on uh, advice from the Chief Health, Health Officer and the Commissioner of Police uh, before we uh, make a final decision on this that those supports are in place. Uh, but that's what I'm confident that our $500 million investment today will deliver. So the proposed scheme will look something like this. Uh, there will be two uh, uh, criminal infringement notices, a maximum of two. Uh, they'll be issued at the discretion of the police, so police will have discretion whether or not to issue those notices. Uh, there will be carve-outs for certain offenders, so if someone has uh, got a criminal record as a, as a drug dealer, they won't be getting a criminal infringement notice. We'll define the detail of that further down the track. Uh, and the, the offender will be able to avoid the fine that is associated with that criminal infringement notice uh, if they undergo the, the telehealth program or, or other program that's associated with that notice. So a bit like when you, you register your car, uh, you get your pink slip and the motor mechanic sends off the number to the uh, registration authority to say that, uh, that, that that has been done. The health provider will send off uh, an infringement notice number to uh, Revenue New South Wales to, to waive the fine. But ultimately we want people in these intervention programs rather than paying the fine. It will still be a criminal offence. Uh, we, we are not decriminalising illicit use of drugs. There will still be criminal offences and after two goes at this, if that hasn't worked, then an offender on a third go will be going to court where we will have expanded uh, intervention programs. So this is not going soft on crime. This is dealing smartly with crime, dealing with the causes of drug use, uh, trying to get people away from their addictions. Uh, so this is a landmark response to a landmark report.